Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Dr. Uh, I am Shafiq from Kuala Lumpur uh, I am a student of Syariah Okay, a lot of uh, Malaysian today know you as a good da'i And they even recognize you as a ulama And they also protect you If those uh, liberal and atheist people Condemn you in the social media However, some of them say uh, You only can be referenced about the cooperative uh, religion uh, But if you talk about the akidah uh, They say uh, don't listen to you. Uh, can you uh, comment about this issue, Doctor? Thank you. That's a question that I am specialized in compiled religion, but if I speak on Akidah, don't listen. Anyone speaks. Number one is Allah says in the Quran, Kul hatu bunanukum in kuntum sawdikin, but if you're truthful. Produce your proof if you're truthful. Anyone, he may be illiterate. Correct? If he tells you anything, ask for proof. If the proof is there, you follow it. If the proof is wrong, reject it. What thing I told about Akhidah without proof? Can you point out a single? Can you point out a single thing which I spoke without proof? So irrespective whether the person is an expert or not, if he speaks to you with proof, and if he's giving you Dalil, it is sufficient. The Dalil should be correct. You have to take out fault in the Dalil, not in his degree. You know, Sheikh Ahmad Didat, only six standard pass. How much? Didat is how much? Six standard pass. Not even school. He will take the PhDs of comparative religion lock, stock, barrel. Right or wrong? Yes. Right or wrong? Yes. How much six standard pass? Not even ten standard. Didn't pass the school also. Because Allah helped him. Correct? So the problem is the Dalil he gives is carries weight. So the problem is that anyone who speaks, you have to see is he speaking on the basis of Quran and Sunnah or not? Whether he's speaking on tafsir, whether he's speaking on hif, the dalil. There's no dalil required. What do you have to see that the thing is, that's why I tell my son, studying university is good. Degree is no value for akhirah. The problem is what dalil you have. And at, if you see the sahabas, did they go to universities? They sat with the prophet. They sat with each other. The best way of acquiring knowledge is sitting with scholars. Sitting with scholars is one of the best ways and reading the books is the best way. You know, so it is good. It gives you a way okay that you have studied something. But the main test is how you sit and how can you reproduce. That's important. Anyone says, ask him, even if a person of PhD, if he misquotes the Quran, will you follow him? No. If a PhD of Tafsir of Quran says there's two Allah, will you follow him? Uh, if you follow him? No. no. So main thing is what you are going to speak. The degree is important, okay, for those people who you don't want to test. Correct? Degree means, okay, he has done. He has done. But main thing is whether the person is speaking the haqq or not, he has dalil or not. Dalil is the main thing. So always ask for dalil. The problem is those people who cannot refute, they give these arguments. Hope that answers the question.